Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over 2014 USA JMO problem number one. Here's a view of this problem. A, B, C are real numbers greater than or equal to one. And we would like to prove this inequality here. The crux move of this problem is to observe that a minus 1 raised to the fifth power is which is greater than or equal to 0 is equal to a to the fifth power minus 5 a to the fourth power plus 10 a cubed minus 10 a squared plus 5 a minus 1 observe that uh, we can get this expression here uh, which is right here so therefore what I will do is I can equivalently write this as so let's move this one uh, to the left hand side so 10 a squared minus 5 a plus 1 is actually less than or equal to and then we realize a cubed is common in those three terms. So we have a cubed, a squared minus 5a plus 10. I would like to um, find this fraction here. So I, I, I really need to divide both sides by this number on the right hand side. But we need to make sure that this expression is positive. So for that, I will just open some space here. I just realized that a squared minus 5a plus 10 uh, well it is simply equal to a squared um, minus 5a and I can add and subtract so half of it would be 5 over 2 squared would be uh, 5 over 2 squared um, minus 5 over 2 squared and then we still have a 10 pill remaining so therefore this expression is simply equal to um, um, a minus 5 over 2 squared um, and then we have 25 over 4 um, plus 10 so we have minus 25 over 4 plus 40 over 4 I think that would give you 15 over 4 so plus 15 over 4 and that expression is certainly greater than or equal to 0 because this is greater than or equal to 0. And this one is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so it's it's okay to divide both sides by this expression here. So we go ahead and do it. So we get this. And also notice that the numerator of this expression is also greater than or equal to 0. So for that, let's quickly observe that 10a squared minus 5a. So minus 5a plus 1 that whole thing is equal to this expression here which is a square here and a positive number here 3 over 8 which is greater than or equal to 0 therefore the numerator is also greater than or equal to 0 so we can confidently add this sign here as well in a similar way um, so we can get also um, symmetric uh, results for the b's and the c's like this and finally, all we need to do is to multiply out these three inequalities. And I will do it in the next page. And as a last step, we can equivalently write this in the sense that I will just move around the denominators. So I'll move this denominator over here, this one to here, and finally this one up there. So in a cyclical fashion. So ultimately, we will get the desired result that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll still have three fractions here. Less than or equal to A, B, C cubed. On the left, we the numerators will not change, obviously. In the first expression, the denominator will be the B expression here. B squared minus 5B plus 10. In the second one, the numerator does not change. Minus 5B plus 1 all divided by c squared minus 5c plus 10 and finally 10 squared minus 5c plus 1 and finally this would be the denominator will be the a 
the expression in, in A's minus 5A plus 10. And there we go. So therefore, the claim is the following. So our left-hand side expression has three terms here. And these three terms, one of them must be less than or equal to the cubic root of um, uh, of their product and so that's that that makes perfect sense so therefore this will immediately imply the desired result so therefore we can claim that this the left hand side of our expression here let's uh, let's call it left hand side so therefore our left hand side is less than or equal to the the desired result of a b c and hope you enjoyed the video see you in our next lecture